In this video, I want to talk about the difference between average speed and average velocity. The, the difference between these two and these two topics are something that drives students nuts. We're going to try to deal with that here. The key to understanding the differences between average speed and average velocity is to never ever use your intuition. If you use your intuition and guess what you think they are, you will always get them wrong. I'm going to give you the definition of these two terms. And and from here on out, you will always use these definitions to calculate these terms exactly and nothing else. The first thing, though, is you need to know the difference between distance and displacement. If you haven't watched the video on distance versus displacement yet, you need to do that first. Or if you've forgotten, go watch it again. The first thing you do is you choose two points in time, which I've identified here as an initial time and a final time. So once you have your initial and final time, you need to calculate the time difference, which is the final time minus the initial time. You've done that, excellent. The time average speed, and that's, let me emphasize that for a second. When books talk about average speed, they mean the time average speed, and the average velocity, they mean the time average velocity. You don't say that specifically, but that's what they mean. The time average speed is then the distance divided by delta t. And the time averaged velocity is the displacement over delta t. That's it. Now remember, when you dealt with distance and displacement, we found that they're not always the same, and often they're different. By the same token, then, the time average speed and the time average velocity are often different. This is, again, because distance is a scalar, the time average speed is a scalar, and be because the displacement is a vector, the time average velocity is a vector. All right, for the example, I've brought this position function, x of t is equal to 2t minus t squared. And over here, now I have a graphical representation of this function between 0 and 3 seconds. It goes uh, from 0 up to to positive one meter, I have meters and seconds, and then it comes back through zero and then down to negative three. If I'm interested in two points in time, uh, t is equal to zero and t is equal to two seconds. What is the time average speed and velocity? So first, I need to find the, the distance. The distance traveled between 0 and 2 is it goes up to 1 meter and then back down to 0, so the total distance traveled is equal to 2 meters. Well, I also need to calculate the time difference, and the time difference is equal to the final time minus the initial time, and so that's equal to 2 seconds. And therefore, the time averaged speed is equal to 2 meters over 2 seconds, or 1 meter per second. Fine. What's the displacement? Remember, the displacement is the initial position, with, sorry, the final position minus the initial position. The final position at t is equal to 2 seconds is 0. The initial position at t is equal to 0 is 0. Therefore, the displacement is 0 meters, and therefore the time averaged velocity, zero meters per second. So if the displacement zero, the velocity zero. Do you see why you don't want to use your intuition about what this means? If you have to calculate a time average speed or a time average velocity, find the distance, find the displacement, and then use that definition. Let's do one more. Let's now say same function, time initial is equal to zero, and time final is equal to 3. This gives us a time interval, 3 seconds. What is the distance traveled? Whatever the object is, starts at 0, it goes up to, to 1, there's 1, then it comes back down to 2, and then it goes uh, 3 more for a total distance of 5 meters. So the time averaged speed is equal to the distance over the time interval, or 5 meters over 3 seconds, 1.3 meters per second. Scalar, again, for displacement, well that's the final position minus the initial position. The final position is uh, negative 3. The initial position was 0, so the displacement was negative 3 meters. That's a vector. It has a magnitude of 3 meters, and it's pointing in the negative x direction. And so now we can calculate the average velocity, which is the displacement 
over the time interval, or negative three meters over three seconds, or negative one meters per second. Time average velocity is a vector because displacement is a vector. So this is telling me that the time average velocity is a vector whose magnitude is one meter and it's pointing in the negative x direction. You'll never get <laughs> one of these wrong again. Well, maybe the a source of a great many number of trick questions. So always have your guard up when you encounter average velocity and average speed. Take great detail to find your distance and your displacement, know what those mean and their differences between them, and then after you find the time interval, you can calculate either the time average speed or velocity.